Hello and welcome to our coverage of CES here on GeForce. Today I'm here to talk with Phil about GeForce Now. GeForce Now has been in beta for Mac for about six months now, but you guys have an announcement for the rest of those out there at CES, right? That's correct. Today here at CES, we're pleased to announce that it's now available for PCs and it can upgrade even low-end integrated graphics notebooks to be able to play high-end PC games. So you've actually set up a station here where people can get their hands on. So what are these doing? What are these streaming? So the other second announcement we made here today is that we're also including Ubisoft games on the platform now. So we're showing Rainbow Six playing on a $200 HP stream notebook, which would not be able to play it locally at all. Yeah, normally people bring like the best hardware to CES and this laptop's feature is purple and that's about it. And it's running Rainbow Six Siege fluidly. And then we have also behind us another couple of laptops and it's almost like a Pepsi challenge you've set up. What's going on with those two? The other thing we wanted to try is we wanted to see what is the difference between trying to install a game locally on your integrated graphics versus streaming it from our G force GTX 1080s in the cloud. So we tried to install it on that $200 laptop, but it wouldn't install. So we had to install it on a $400 Acer Swift notebook, and we were able to install PUBG. And what's the difference between the two? So on the integrated graphics installed locally, it's playing at two frames per second two. on low settings. Yes. Two. Like a slideshow. I wouldn't call that playable. No. Uh, and and GeForce Now did better than two? Yes, we're at full 60 frames per second at high settings. And so you're all set up to win a chicken dinner. So if people sign up for the open beta, what games can they expect to be able to play? So we have over 160 supported games already on the service and we add more every week. The way it works is you log into your Steam account and then any games you own there, you can instantly install onto your GeForce Now cloud computer and then you can play those. And now that we support Uplay, you can also sign in and play those. And we support a broad range of free to play games like League of Legends, World of Tanks and Fortnite from Epic. So what kind of internet connection am I going to need to have? We recommend a 50 megabits per second internet connection, but it will run as low as 25 megabits per second, and you'll get a very excellent streaming experience. We also have a new feature that we introduced called Ultra Streaming Mode. What this does is allow you to stream games at up to 120 frames per second and really compresses the latency so that it feels just like you're playing the game locally on a high-end PC. So if people out there have maybe a lower-end PC, where can they actually play GeForce Now? So they can play it anywhere in North America or Europe. Our third announcement today was we opened our third data center in Europe in Amsterdam. So we have quite good coverage across Europe and North America now. So it's an open beta and does it cost anything to sign up? That's the best part. It's free during the beta. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget, plenty more coverage coming at you from CES. And we have our contest going on. We're giving away 10 GTX 1080 Ti's and an MSI Max-Q laptop. So subscribe, leave a comment, and stay tuned for more coverage here on GeForce.